In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to use the GIMP app, a powerful and free image editor for beginners. So GIMP is a free open source image editing tool that rivals paid software like the Photoshop. So whether you need to retouch some photos or to create some digital art or design graphics, the GIMP has all the tools you need. To get started, you have the links down below in the description where you can download the GIMP application. You can download it directly from the stable version. You can download it from the BetTorrent or from the Microsoft Store. To make this much more faster, I'm going to be downloading this from Microsoft Store and go from install it. Now I can look how for GIMP directly into my apps. Since this is the first time we are into GIMP, usually it's going to be showing you something like this. Into the right section, you can see that here is the filters. Everything about the elements that you're checking out. The opacity, the most, layers, channels, and roads. Into the left part, here are all the tools that you can use in order to edit your content. If you have used Photoshop before, this might be a little bit looked alike. If you don't, you don't have to worry about it. Let's go directly into the Open Assist uh, file and go for new. And to create a new image, let's go here for where it says template. Into template, you can generate a lot of content, for example, the 1920 by 1200, or you can create your own. Let's go and start our own, which is 1920 and 1080. And let's go for OK. If you wanted to see advanced options, you are more likely to do it so. Now, here, if I wanted to import an image, usually what I do is just to drag and drop or to focus into file. And look how far the option it says import. I'm going to hit into my download and I'm going to import one image directly into my addition. For example, here we have this image. If I look out for this element, I'm going to try to reload, edit, and here I can try to change the preferences, the paste in, cut copy, and the best ability of it. I'm going to add a new layer of the background, and I'm going to change the color for black. Now I'm going to create here and generate something different. For example, let's say here I use this image and I'd put it here into the center. If I select my text into the upper side, I can change the possibilities. For example, let's say that I'm going to be changing this for um, white. I have the word generate and you can change the font text. For example, here you can enter the title. In my case, I think this one actually works for me. Generate and text. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Now, gen, narrate. I can make this bold, italic, uh, I can underline, and of course, this track through. Let's just leave this like that and move this a little bit to the left. Now, let's unselect, generate, and when it says this word your, I'm going to use this text to make this bigger than the other one. So, here, have your. Now, I'm going to make this bigger, and this section that says image, I'm going to make this smaller. Generate your image, just like that. There we go. Now, on select, and I'm going to generate a new section. Let's say that I go for a new layer. Now, the layer name, let's say that this is, uh, let's go for element. The color tag should be white. The mode, let's go for screen. And I can just leave this as it is and go for OK. Now here, I'm going to be generating a new element. So to generate a new element, usually what I do is to add elements or more images into it. So let's say, for example, that I want to be creating something or one form. The rescale is going to be helping me to resize elements. And I can move them wherever I want to. Even though the elements that I am selecting. For example, I'm going to make this bigger like this and just move them around here into the center there we go now you have to generate your image and here have the text here this clicked and add tapped i can add colors brushes patterns gradient font and much more let's try it out with an actual pattern and i can use the bucket to add the color and if you wanted to a gradient but in this case actually i think this one works for us and there we go. So once you finish with this process, you can adjust your image, you can adjust the brightness, we can of course focus directly into colors. Once you select, for example, your element, you can color them if you want to. I'm going to cancel this because this is an example. 
I'm going to just go for the select table, go for the colors, and we can change the balance, the temperature, the saturation, exposure, brightness and contrast, and much more. I think to just try to change a little bit the saturation. And we can change the lightness for something like this and go for OK. So as you can see, it actually works really well. Lastly, if you think that this one works for you, you can focus into File, Export As, and here you can name, which is, let's say, for example, this is a thumbnail of a Spotify video that we're going to be uploading here to YouTube, right? So here's the document, and show all the files. So all the select the files, select the folder, and hit now into Export. Lastly, it's going to be showing you, which is the image to As, PNG file, the pixel format, the compression level and that will be actually it and I hit now into export and my file should be exported automatically and I double clicked and I go and look out for photos and our image should be generated with GIMP. One of the amazing tools is that this has now been used totally for free and that's the reason why we use GIMP. Once again, you can download this directly into the description and you choose. And if you choose to download this into the Microsoft, into BetTorrent or directly into the application. And that guys is how you can actually get started with the GIMP. Whether you are editing photos, you can create some designs, ladies and ladies odd, this is a great tool. So this tutorial helped you guys make sure to like, subscribe and check out my other GIMP tutorials for more advanced tips. Thank you for watching the video guys, see you next time.